Mark Hanna, a Detroit Tiger. Congratulations. I remember your general manager saying you're an on-base machine. You grind out at bats. Why was this a good fit for you? Um, I think it's a good place for me because there's a lot of young players and, and uh, those at bats that you talk about um, can kind of uh, rub off on those guys. And if I can have some sort of influence on the quality of the at bats, um, on these young guys, then then that's a good thing. Have you had influence already? Have they picked your brain yet? Uh, I don't know. I, not not exactly. Not on a, a literal level, but maybe um, you know. I had a good at bat yesterday, and you know, you have some good abs in spring training, and kind of show people the player you are. And I think it can be. Um, you know, people can see that and watch it, and I can kind of lead by example that way. I've been to six camps, and no one singled out an at-bat like that, and that just goes to your personality. When I watch you, I feel like it's Game 7 of the World Series at all points in time. I don't know if that's right. That's what I get from the TV screen. Is that correct? Yeah, I try I try not to throw any at-bats away and go up there and take every pitch, you know, as if it were important, and, and every pitch is, and, um, you know, I... I yeah, exactly. I think you just have to um, be locked in on every pitch, and I'm kind of take the, take a lot of pride in that part of my game. Of course. What do you say to yourself before you step to the plate? And is it different? Does it vary year to year? Um, yeah, I think it varies year to year. It varies pitcher to pitcher. Uh, what I'm trying to do, if I'm trying to be aggressive, or if I'm gonna see some pitches, or, or whatever it is, um, I try to think about each at bat and go, okay, what, what do I need to do here? What, what's the plan? And, and go up there having some sort of um, loosely, not too rigid plan that, um, that that at bat requires. So it's not, so it's pitcher based. It's not just keep my hands in a certain position and. Yeah. Well, I have all those thoughts going through my head too. <laughs> I'm um, overwhelmed. Mark. Yeah. It's a lot of thoughts going through my head. Sometimes I have to quiet those thoughts. Sure. Sometimes it's good to listen to them. Um, but yeah, it, you know, every at bat's different. I was thinking after even nine years, it, we're human, right? They really wanted you. That must have felt good. What were those conversations like with them? Yeah, it's always flattering. Of course. Um, you get picked up by a team and, and they express that. And, and that's, I think, what you want as a player and as an athlete. And I think um, I'm a particular type of player with a particular skill set and to have someone like Scott Harris that, that appreciates that, it's like, okay, that's that's where I want to be then. Do you go into camp, Mark, and say, this is what I got, tell me how to get better? Or do you say, this is what I do, this is how I'm going to do it? How open are you t in different organizations? I'm, I'm very open. Really? I, yeah, I try, I think um, my relationship with my hitting coaches is one thing that's, that's always, um, really good typically because I'm always receptive and always trying to to learn because I know everyone that's here has something to offer and um, I can learn from that and I can take what I already have and, and kind of just piece it together and, and that's how I've always approached it. I'm not um, like a stubborn guy that's stuck in my ways. I'm, I'm very much trying to to learn. I think I'm always trying to learn. I think it's uh, an evo the evolution of, of me, and I think it's uh, it's important. It's part of who I am. It's part of the reason I've had success. Sure. You ready to immerse yourself in Detroit? That's what you do everywhere you yeah. go. You take in the best that the city has to offer. Are we going to try some Coney dogs? Yeah. What are we excited about most living there? Uh, I'm excited to try the food scene. Yes, for sure, you're a foodie. You know. I yeah. know this. Um, I, I just try, I like to explore places and I did that in New York and I did that in Milwaukee and I'm excited to do that in Detroit. Coffee I think shops. every, yeah, every city has a vibe and every city has like what they're known for is Coney dogs or whatever it may be. I'm going to find out in Detroit and um, yeah, I try to make lemonade. It's a blessing. Know? Enjoy yeah. it. Out of lemons. Mark Cannon, good yeah. luck to you.